And this is a well of an episode with a whale in the back right here in Point Doom Luxury Lifestyle and the Health to Enjoy It. Episode 3, we had a big, big problem. On November 9 of last year, this place looked like this. The scene is completely surreal. We're blocked on PCH, so we can't go anywhere. But today, our episode is full of excitement after the fire and with solutions on how to rebuild with zero impact on the environment. We'll visit Cosimo Pisuli at his office in Beverly Hills. Then, a meeting with Helenita at Bogara Beverly Hills, where we pick up the king of kings of convertibles, the Rolls Royce Dawn which we will take along the coastline to our open house. We're gonna serve them some delicious Sun Life organic drinks. Then we're going to focus on a burned out lot and the opportunities that are here in Malibu after the burnout, after the fire. Stay tuned. All right, and we're here uh, shooting episode three of Luxury Lifestyle and the Health to Enjoy It. Today with Cosimo Pisuli, a star architect in Beverly Hills, and he's working with me in rebuilding Malibu. Today we will be discussing all the materials you can use in order to rebuild your home with zero impact. We're gonna get a whole bunch of new terminology, but I'm gonna let Cosimo start with that. Hello Cosimo, how are you? I'm very good, welcome Rodrigo to the studio. I appreciate this very much. I think it's gonna be some fun talking about how you start rebuilding your home and the kind of things that you could use so you have a net carbon zero impact on the environment. Well, what is that, net carbon zero? Well, you wanna be efficient in energy. You don't wanna be wasteful. You don't wanna use materials that are taking away from the planet. You wanna use recycled materials, recomposition type of woods. Cement, stones, beautiful stones recomposition, and maybe not have, you know, all these kinds of plant material and things that just burn up. And there's a lot of materials out there that are really fire hazard materials. So let's just talk about things that are drought tolerant, live off the sea breeze of the California, and also materials that could be completely artificial, but yet look pretty natural in a small quantity, not a big quantity, just sort of a little blend in and keep the fire element away from the structures. And the structures could have all kinds of composition plasters, decks out of recomposition woods. A lot of really great things to do with cement. You could stain it, you can color it. These are really important components. So right, this, the, this is, our, we're talking, uh, that those are materials we could put in inside and outside both That's that are right. completely inside, fireproof. It's a, inside and outside, recycled, sustainable, and are part of being a lead certified structure. Explain to me what that is. Leadership and energy efficiency is a movement that started a long time ago and now the government is supporting it by giving certifications to structures that have a very little to, to no impact on the environment. From recycled components, materials that are sourced within um, 100 miles or 500 miles of the location, therefore you, you don't use a lot of gas and for trucking materials, so now you're supporting locals. Not too much different than the chef who does from farm to table. Right. Now, why not have materials that are locally sourced and used for your home? You know, these are important factors. Also, be having an ener energy efficient house. How do I make my house so it doesn't use all this electricity, right? Besides having electricity from a solar source, which is very nice because today we're gonna to be seeing very soon, within actually a couple of months, we're gonna be getting samples of the Tesla roof tile that looks like a natural piece of slate and the whole tile is actually a, a dark gray and the whole thing's a, a solar cell. It will absorb probably close to twice the energy you will ever need. So you'll be giving it back. Your meter will be going backwards opposed to forward. So you'll never have, a, you'll never have an electric bill. And, that's and you can leave the lights on, the pool pump on, the, the, the spa pump on, the waterfall pump on, all these things going 24 seven and never use all the power that that solar system will generate for your home. And you still give some back. Because a whole roof could be like a six kV system and you're gonna to wanna to use two. 
on a consumption. So this so is a really big So that combined with the batteries that Tesla has now. For the cars. Uh, no, 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 for the houses. Uh, uh, for the houses. Yeah, yeah, so the other well. part is glazing. Your glass could have a solar vane, a rating on the glass, so it stops all the heat coming in. So therefore your cooling system in your home, if you have air conditioning, won't be running because it's not going to get really hot. So this is also a really important. And wrapping the house. You know, you'll have, there's, there's, there's materials out there um, that you completely, after you put the framing up, you'll wrap the whole house and just tuck it all in. Uh, uh, like, a light, like a big sheet, you're just wrapping a nice big sheet and it keeps it thermally sealed. So heat doesn't leave in the winter and cool. They used to use the other uh, uh, insulations. insulations. They would put insulations behind that. Now insulation today is a fiberglass. You don't have to use fiberglass. They take, believe it or not, right here, recycled jeans, they shred it, comes in bags, and they stuff it between all, all the framing. You know, the other thing that's really important that people don't realize um, when it comes to the health of your home, now, health is another factor in building out. You want to have healthy materials, things that aren't going to affect your health, and you don't know about them. Recycle this wood floor right here. You're looking at this wood floor. This was from a barn in Ohio, and they took the wood out of this barn, right? I split it in half because I wanted to re I didn't want it to be wasteful. Didn't want to be wasteful. So I, I split it in half. We glued it to a piece of plywood. We tongue and groove the plywood. We stained it in this big warehouse. It looked great. We took it all apart, brought it over here, let it sit for a couple of days to acclimate to the air conditioning and the temperature. And we put it all down. And here you go. Here's a floor that came off of a barn, the wall of a barn. Now we used in a studio space. All the lights are all LED very efficient and the air conditioning system is also very efficient um, on the roof a split system this whole studio space the electric bill with no solar is only 180 dollars a month for all of this running 24 7 the air conditioner never turns off it's always balancing itself and all these lights are always on and all the computers and all this power so there's an example of how you can be really efficient um, but just look being sensitive to health reuse reuse materials and in a theory you kind of Protecting zero the impact, and you have a zero carbon impact. On zero the carbon impact on That's the right. environment. Because you're we're not, not off-gassing uh, bad stuff. Terminology: zero right. carbon impact on the environment. We and want that, to build, and rebuild. That, and that's the, the future. And that's the future. So these are things to think about in rebuilding your house. Is I want to be sustainable. I want to have a healthy house. I don't want to have any VOC compounds in my in any of the materials I use. I want to use stuff that's locally made. So I support the local environment. All of great surprises that are possible in Malibu right now. I want to thank you, Cosimo, for giving Pleasure. us all that great education. You got it. Uh, he's right here in South Beverly Drive to what? What is the address? 223 South Beverly Drive in Beverly Hills, our studio, Pizzuli Associates. We're here to help people understand what's available to them and in the marketplace so they can just get it one step better. One step better rebuilding Malibu. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Rodrigo Iglesias and I'm here with Helena Dix, Hilton Highland, and today we're shooting the third episode of Luxury Lifestyle and the Health to Enjoy It with Angelino's favorite couple. As you can see, Rodrigo Iglesias, Helena Dietz. In the last party with the Angelino's Modern Man Celebration. Ogara Beverly Hills, and this is the candy store. Let's take a look. Rodrigo, this should make an RR, uh, an R8. Yeah. But I think we would settle for the RR. Which car would you want? Why don't we try the one with the purple interior? Okay. Yeah, purple is Drive it, drive it up and down Beverly Hills. Royal color. Royal, the royal purple. The most difficult color to make. Aha, uh -huh, so. And before the color was only for royals. Okay, so I so get... So it must be royal. You... Royal, royal, royal. Royal, royal. <laughs> right, here we go. cup which is about 20 ounces and we fill it with about a cup and a half of ice and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the juicer on and I'm going to juice about eight ounces of fresh apple juice we're going to add two tablespoons 
uh, fresh ginger. And then the next we're going to add six tablespoons of lemon. Fresh ginger supports a healthy gut and fresh lemon juice is really good for detox. And then the next thing I'm going to add is about um, five pinches of cayenne pepper. And the fresh apple juice that I just made in the juicer goes into the cup. And that's how you make a fast study at Sun Life Organics. And I love this car because first of all you have the suicide door. You have space for your yoga mat and your yoga mat cover right here in the trunk. Look at this trunk. I can fit all my real estate signs. How cool is that? Uh -huh, I have five signs, flags. Then I press this button, the trunk comes down. Beautiful day, so I'm gonna put the top down. Glorious temperature today here in Malibu. We're gonna go look at the situation. We had the uh, Malibu fires. And so today we're gonna uh, dedicate our episode to rebuilding Malibu. Today I have 6731 Wondermare Road listed for $1,995,000. It's over an acre lot overlooking the ocean and this property was hit by the fire. So the property is gone. It's now being sold as a lot. And the great thing is got the fast track uh, from the city of Malibu and it makes it really easy to rebuild a house. So come and take a look at this phenomenal open house. Follow me. We're going to raise Malibu like a phoenix from its ashes to beautiful lifestyle again. Right here on Wondermare Drive, we have over an acre of land with breathtaking canyon and a champagne cup ocean view from a first level and a beautiful ocean view unobstructed from a second level where the deck will be. And there's my open house. Here at 6731 Wondermare, the house burned down. I see great possibilities. I think the sky is the limit, especially Point Doom is a very prestigious neighborhood. And uh, I think there is great opportunity for a homeowner or investor to come and invest and build their dream home. Perfect. Uh, tell me about this uh, drink. What are we drinking? This is the bomb. Uh -huh. Fast Eddie. Fast Eddie. Love Fast Eddie. Love sun life. Natural. It's exhilarating. It's rejuvenating, gives and me it energy, keeps you slim. and it keeps you in shape. Very good. Yes. That's awesome. Thank you, Leah. Cheers to you. Cheers. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, my name is Nicholas Hale. This is the property that I just recently finished remodeling, uh, literally about six weeks prior to the Woolsey fire uh, that took most of the Malibu homes, and. Sadly, right after I handed the keys off to my real estate agent, I kicked up my heels trying to schedule my next vacation. Uh, the fire came through and lost it. I decided as an option to get the property off my books more or less, put it up for sale, keep it up for sale, lower the price to you know what it's worth as a dirt lot. But in the process of going through the city to uh, get the plans approved and the permits acquired for any potential buyer to uh, come in and be able to get out of hammer and nails and go right to work. I'm excited to get it done and you can have a piece of Malibu, design it your own way with your own materials and an amazing view. Uh, I really enjoyed working on the project over the last year or so that I've had the property. Uh, it's quiet, it's nice, this is the kind of street that you can let your kids run around, get on their skateboards, the dog can run in the street take their bikes out, and you don't have to worry about it. It is a cul-de-sac, it's off the beaten path, but it's on the uh, most prestigious place in Malibu, I believe, is Point Doom. And I've had numerous other properties here, and this is one of my favorites. And uh, if somebody wants it, I'm gonna give it to them. We had at least 19 Fast Eddies. We have zero left. So we had over awesome. 20 brokers, 
awesome. principles. So why don't we test drive this? Let me know what you think. Wow, not gonna argue with that. Let's roll. It's hot as it gets. This you know, now's it? the time. Opportunities out there. Yeah. Um, if I didn't have this, I would be out there looking for it. Right. Exactly. I mean, that's who I am. So tell me your first impressions right now. Give me the best three features right now of what you feel about this beautiful Rolls Royce doll. I'm extremely comfortable and I've got How tall a are you? six foot four. I've got a bad back. This thing feels like I can sit in it for hours. Um, not just that, uh, just the drivability, smooth, everything you would expect. Yes. You know, my wife has the smaller coupe um, and it's cool. But I don't know. I mean, Having without the, the convertible, chair, the uh, bar, there's this, there's no comparison. I mean, I, I've never been in another car that could uh, give you this kind of comfort, luxury, feel of prestige. All right, there we go. Come on in. Let's go close up this deal. <laughs> Let's wrap it up, my friend. Thank you. Pleasure. We're here at Cafe Habana, one of my absolute favorite places in Malibu. Nothing happens in Malibu unless it happens here on Wednesday night. There is very little nightlife here in Malibu. You can go to Nobu every night, but Cafe Habana, Wednesday night, is karaoke night. So you can find me singing here. You can find Andrea Bocelli, Sting had song here. So it is a very eclectic place because the people come and hang out. And when you come into a comfortable atmosphere like this restaurant, the owners are creators of the Casamigos Tequila. So this is the hometown of Casamigos Añejo. And uh, as tequilas goes, I don't drink anymore, but I used to. Tequila doesn't get any better when you're tasting Casamigos Añejo on ice. And you can uh, testify to that because Casamigos I'm Añejo right now. is in that margarita. Yes. And it's certainly not a Cadillac margarita, it's a Rolls Royce margarita. <laughs> Actually, uh, uh, it's a Rolls Royce. Uh huh. That's and not just any Rolls Royce. Oh that dawn. Turn it into. For being such a good host. That's right. I it's mean, I, I, you know. The, the ideas you come up with when I'm making plans to build are phenomenal. Like no other realtor I've ever dealt with. Period. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then the fact that I know that every single one of them is going to add value and I know how to do it. <laughs> I think it's a very, very good. Thing. I think we have a good mojo going. I really appreciate you working with me and Rick Hilton. I know, I know you know Rick Hilton for a long time. Great guy. And so uh, originally we met through him at the Santa Barbara. Yeah, that was like what, 80 acres? Mile beachfront? That is uh, a very special project. It is uh, all, it's two lots. Uh, the front lot is 67 acres. Okay. And the back lot is 77 acres. And so they're divided by the railroad track. Right. And uh, the now they're front. in the process uh, of the beachfront, uh, uh, 67 acres have beach access down below. You can never be hit by a tsunami because you're about 25 or 30 feet blocked up above. Well, I don't know if you wanted to call that a broker's open or what, but I gotta tell you, um, I'm very thankful and pleased with what you've done for, for my little place. However, um, that was the most amazing showing I'd ever seen. A <laughs> helicopter to take the tour up and down the coast. Amazing. Uh, ATVs. Uh, because it was a little rugged, but we were well prepared. And then tacos and tequila. Yeah, well, so the, who has 200 <laughs> people at an open house that's, in a lot? That's what sold me on you right off the top. <laughs> All right, so the heart of 
This side of Malibu starts right here at Heathercliff. This is the Heathercliff Pavilions and where Sun Life Organics, Malibu Beach Yoga, you have everything within two blocks. And the hills, all of those hills burn down. Now they are rising from the ashes. We definitely have an unbeatable spirit unburnable nothing can get us through the spirit of Malibuian so you can see the hills rising you can see the people at yoga you can see the life in here an extraordinary opportunity so you can join us too and Malibu is where the future is now from the dog park to the elementary school to the middle school and high school with an Olympic sized pool, that football field, all with an ocean view, all in the public facilities. The lifestyle is one of a kind, so come and claim your piece of Malibu now.